Hi everyone! In this video we're going to look at the Riri Loves Mac Summer 2013 collection. So this is a collaboration collection with Rihanna and will be one of several collaboration collections with her. These items are available exclusively online so you can't buy them in stores and they are currently available although you're going to have to sort of scramble to get the items. Most of them, I think there's only one item that's not sold out or maybe two items that are not sold out. My suspicion is that MAC will periodically restock the items but you do have to keep an eye on the website to try to get it as quickly as possible after they restock them. You can also take a look at the video review I've done for Max Tropical Taboo Collection, which is their mineralized collection for this year. And in that collection, I also host a giveaway for one of the mineralized skin finishes. If you want to enter that, you simply have to be one of the subscribers of this channel. And as always, you can go to allurebeauty.com if you want to see more in-depth reviews for these colors and items and images of swatches of all of them. So first we have this collection's Powder Blush Duo and this will cost $26. It's in the shade Hibiscus Kiss. So one side is a neutral bronze color. This is one layer. It's pretty light when it comes to a bronzer. Here's a second layer applied, much stronger in color. So if you're very fair skinned or light skinned, you may just want to use one layer, but if you're NC20 or darker, you'll need to apply two layers. On the other side you have a cool coral blush, again pretty translucent with one layer. The formula is a little uh, stiff in the pan, so that color is a little patchy. Here it is with two layers, much better brighter color but still it's not fully smooth on the surface of the skin. Next up we have a new Luster Drops shade. This will cost $20 and the shade is called Barbados Girl. So this is a rose gold bronzer. It is shimmery so it's going to be an all over cheek color or a shimmering bronzing highlight color. And if you want to smooth it out and use it as a thinner layer of color, you can do that also. And then we have three lipstick colors. They are all new and each of the bullets is engraved with Rihanna's signature. And these actually cost the exact same as Re Max regular lipsticks, so $15 each. We have Riri Ri Wu, which is sort of a take on Ruby Wu. Riri Ri Boy and Hoax. Here is Riri Wu. These all have a retro matte finish. So this is a matte cool red. Riri Boy, which Max says is a matte vivid lavender, but it's more of a purple bougainvillea color. And then Hoax, or I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's spelled H-E-A-U-X. It's a matte berry color. All of these have fantastic pigmentation. They're a little streaky though due to the very dry matte formula. Alright, so there you have Riri Loves Mac Summer 2013 collection. I'm not terribly overwhelmed by this collection. I think the blush duo is certainly not impressive. The formula should be softer and more even on the skin. The luster drops are nice, although I think the pearlized pigments in there could be also more smooth and a little less gritty. And then the lipsticks have fantastic pigmentation and are opaque, but they are a retro matte formula, meaning they're very, very matte and will dry out many people's lips. So just be careful of that. All right, make sure to enter the Tropical Taboo giveaway for MAC if you would like to do that. You can hop over to that video to see the rules for that giveaway. And of course, if you have any questions about this collection, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed looking at these colors with me. I'll see you in the next video.